A level chemistry quick test video on acids and bases and in this video I'm going to look at hydrated salts and water of crystallization. So the first set of questions, these two here, so if you want to have a go at those, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay so the first one we're going to work out the MR of the bit we know, so the NiNO3 twice, that's the anhydrous part of the salt, that's 182.7. So to work out the mass of the X waters, we subtract that from the total mass. So that's 108 for the X H2O part. And then if we just divide that by the MR of water, we can find out how many waters are in there. And that's 6. So the formula is Ni, NO3 twice, 6 H2O. The next one, the starting point, is the formula of copper 2 nitrate. So Cu2 plus and NO3 minus. So that's CuNO3 twice. So if we subtract those atoms from the empirical formula, we're left with O6H12. Obviously that's six waters. And so the formula shown the water of crystallization is CuNO3 twice dot 6H2O. Okay, so here's the second task. So if you again, if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play them when you're ready for the answers. So for this type of question, I like to do it like an empirical formula style calculation. So I'm going to find the mole ratio of the anhydrous part, the CaCl2 part, to the water of crystallization part. So we'll put a table up with the two parts in and then put the masses. Where does this 3.24 grams come from? Well, they've heated 6.573 grams of this, pushed all the water out and left with that. So that's obviously anhydrous mass. So the difference must be the water that's escaped. If we bring in the MR of the two parts and then divide the mass over the MR, we get the moles. Divide by the smallest gets us the ratio 1 to 6. And so the formula will be CaCl2.6H2O. So I'm really sorry, I've just realised that all of the three questions, the answer was 6. And that's just um, a fluke as to where it's happened. 